So why does web accessibility matter? Website accessibility is a practice of making websites and web content usable for people with disabilities. It is a priority for governments, businesses and organisations to make sure that their web content is accessible to people with disabilities. The importance of website accessibility can be seen in many different places. For example, the United States has laws in place to make sure public websites are accessible and that is the same with the UK government as well. Not only UK government websites but also some charities that are in receipt of funding from the UK government and some schools and public bodies. There are some exemptions but in the main that is the legal requirement in the UK. So you may be asking why is website accessibility important? Well the web is a vital part of our lives. It's a place where we share and conduct business, learn about the world and connect with people. And the web is also an important tool for people with disabilities to live their lives more independently. So accessible content is content that can be used and understood by people with disabilities. There are many ways to make your website accessible, but the most important thing is to know what you're trying to accomplish first. The key is to think of accessibility as being integral to form part of your content strategy and not as an afterthought. So before you start writing any content, it's best to think how your message can reach everyone who might want to read it. Because a website that is not accessible does not work for everyone that visits it. And people with disabilities are so often left out or have trouble when they try to access information that can really help them. Imagine a person that is blind might not be able to read the text on a website just because the contrast isn't high enough. Or there are images with writing on that aren't part of the written page. And even someone with a screen reader cannot read an image just with text. It only sees ones and zeros. And these things are often overlooked, but they make such a big difference, not just to the user who's trying to access the content, but also to you, the writer. Or creator and I know you would not knowingly block 20% of your potential market however that is exactly what you are doing if you are not following the WCAG 2.1 and above guidelines. So what are the WCAG 2.1 accessibility guidelines? Now when you're designing your website you want to think of several factors that are going to affect the inclusivity of your of your design. An inclusive design is a set of principles that are meant to make websites more accessible to people with disabilities, including blindness, low vision, deafness and hearing loss, learning disabilities, cognitive limitations, limited movement skills or limited use of hands, speech disabilities or any combination of those. It is structured around four core principles that can be used as a guide for building accessible web applications in the modern day. Now, the core elements underpinning the accessibility guidelines are listed in the w3.org website. Principle one is perceivable. Provide text alternatives for non-text content. Provide captions and other alternatives for multimedia. Create content that can be presented in other ways, including assistive technology without losing meaning. So make it easier for users to see and hear their content. Principle two, make it operable. So make all functionality available from the keyboard. Give users enough time to read the content. Do not use content that might cause seizures or physical reactions. You want to help users navigate your content and make it easy to find. And also make it easier to use inputs other than a keyboard. So principle three is make it understandable. Make text readable and understandable. Have content appear and operate in predictable ways and help users avoid and correct mistakes. And the fourth principle is it has to be robust. Maximize compatibility with current and future user tools. So what are the accessibility standards A, AA and AAA? Well, if you're getting started with accessibility 2.1, then AA standard is a good place to start. By following the recommendations, you can potentially benefit from better search engine optimization, higher user retention, and other advantages of digital accessibility. 
However, you should not disregard WCAG AAA ratings, and while their performance requirements are very stringent, they do provide extra direction for growing your audience. Level AAA criteria, for example, require a colour ratio of at least 7 to 1 in most cases, and certain sites can easily conform to this guideline, and by doing so, deliver a better experience for all of their customers. So what is the web accessibility legislation in the UK? Well, not as specific as the public sector body's accessibility regulations of 2018, which covers the government, some charitable departments, schools, etc. The Equality Act of 2010, which says that UK goods and services cannot discriminate against disabled individuals, applies to private sector firms. Now, there is an easy way to get accessibility 2.1 AA accreditation and compliance because we are passionate about accessibility and allowing more people in fact everybody more access to be able to use the web developed content in order to enhance their lives if you would like us to audit and facilitate this process by implementing the standards please do give us a call. The telephone number is on the screen now. And of course, you can contact us. Hello at bitesizeme.co.uk.